Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'd like to review for you a movie I watched recently called The Maze Runner. Now, um, in my unboxing, a few people were skeptical about this movie, and I think I have a few ideas why people might be skeptical. First of all, the trailer I felt was pretty vague, and um, for the reasoning for that, I think it was kind of, if you give away much of this movie, it kind of ruins the whole story, so they had to be careful not to give away too much. And another reason I think people, um, they're doing a lot of these movies now that are kind of like a teenaged demographic based off books. You got like Twilight, The Worst Offender of All, you know, The Hunger Games, and uh, just things like this. And people are maybe skeptical for these reasons. I know that would make me skeptical. If somebody says, hey, this is a teenage movie based off a book, I'm like, bah, <laughs> you know. Who's going to want to see that? But um, this one, The Maze Runner, I I wasn't sure what to think of it, like I said. Um, but I did sit down and watch it. A lot of people were interested in my thoughts and opinions on it. So um, this movie is 113 minutes long. So just under two hours, you know, pretty good runtime for a movie. And rated PG-13. Now what sets this one apart from other said teenage novel movies um it's more of a sci-fi feeling which is cool interesting idea um so basically what happens is the main character thomas is sent up through the ground in this cage and he ends up in this place they call the glades i'm not sure why i don't know that they ever described why it was called the glades but it's like it's like just a bunch of teenage boys and men there and he has no memory he doesn't know what's going on and they kind of have to introduce him that there there's like this squared off portion and at one point it seemed really small because they do like a a circle kind of around him and it, you just see walls on all sides and then later there's this forest in there and like like where did all that come from but whatever so it's surrounded by walls and the walls make up this huge maze um now, they, like I said, they have no memory. They don't know if they're supposed to be getting out of the maze. They just know a new person and supplies are sent every month. And, um, you know, they do a lot of their own farming and they build their own houses and they, they sleep on, uh, like, what do you call those things? They can leave hammocks. And so they're kind of self-sufficient. And none of them really know exactly what's going on. If it's a punishment, if it's a test, if somebody just wants them dead. Um... So, the maze opens every morning. There's a doorway at the beginning. And a few select of the most athletic go and check it out and try to find a way out. And they've been there for three years and not yet has a way been found to get out. Um, and at night the door closes and there's like monsters inside or something that kill people. Or <laughs> But the thing is nobody has seen them and lived to talk about it. So... I don't really know. I mean, they make noises. Maybe that's what they're basing this off of. They don't really know what happens in there at night. Um, and every day, the maze changes. Now, um, these guys who are going through it every day are mapping it out, and everybody else kind of just is keeping the community going. Now, Thomas comes, and he just starts shaking things up right away. He doesn't want to follow the rules. He wants to try to figure out how to get out. And what I didn't understand is he suggested climbing to the top, and they said, well... What good would that do? Well, you could you could build a ladder, climb the ladder, right? I mean, you could build like a, a wood stick ladder, you know, out of trees. Climb up the ladder and then put the ladder across all the sections of the maze. And then you could at least get to the edge. I mean, maybe there's nothing there. Maybe it's like the end of the world. I don't know. But you could at least get there and see what's there. But they didn't want to try that. <laughs> so, um... So he's only there a few days, and, like, their whole community is just, like, he's changing everything, and some people are against him, and some people are with him, and, um, so I can't really go too much more into it than that. Any, any more detail, and I feel it will ruin the entire movie for you, which I really don't want to do, um, because I think a lot of you are going to check this movie out eventually. Um, I was pretty disappointed by the ending, because it, it, answers very few questions and none of the big questions it leaves you with more questions than answers and obviously that's because they have a planned sequel 
but I'm going to have to base my rating off this ending as well because I feel like I want to know what happened. I don't want to wait for the next sequel. You know, they, they need to wrap up movies, not, well, uh, you know, by the time the seventh movie's over, you'll know what's going on in like nine years. I want to know today. I paid $20 for this. I want to know what happens. So that's that's kind of like my biggest disappointment in this whole movie. Other than that, I, I kind of liked it. I didn't think it was a bad movie. I don't think there's any reason to be apprehensive as long as you can deal with the fact that there's no ending and that it leads directly into the next sequel. Um, so score on this, better than average. Um, IMDb users gave this a 7, which I think is kind of high. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 6 out of 10. I enjoyed it, guys. I think it's worth checking out, but maybe wait till the sequel comes out and then check it out. But I'm curious how many more sequels there will be. Like I said, it could be five or six years before you find out the ending of this movie. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.